こんにちは。今日のパーティコーは、タイムリフェンスパーティコー2です。So far, in our discussions about sentences with verbs, we have covered the direct object particle を、the place of action particle で、and the destination particles に and え。In today's lesson, we will learn particle ni as a time reference particle. The particle ni serves multiple functions in Japanese. In our previous lesson, we learned about its use as a destination marker. Today, we will focus on using the same hiragana character ni as a time reference marker. The time reference particle ni indicates specific times at which an event takes place. It is similar to English prepositions like at, in, or on. So, at 5 o'clock is goji ni, and periods like in June or days of the week such as. On Sunday, you use this time reference particle ni. However, not all time expressions require the particle ni. So, in today's lesson, we will explore these rules to ensure you use the particle ni correctly. To show which time words require the particle ni and which don't, I summed up. The rules here.、Uh, rule number one always use the particle ni with these time related words such as day of the week, numerical time, and months or years. Rule number two the particle ni is optional for these time related words such as approximate time, parts of a day like morning, at night. And the word weekend. Rule number three you never use the particle ni with these time related words such as、uh, today, tomorrow, or the in time words with intervals like every day, every morning, and the question word itsu. We'll go over into each rule in more detail shortly. But first, let's review some key time related words and practice their pronunciation. If you're already comfortable with pronouncing words like minutes, days of the week, months, and parts of the day, feel free to skip ahead to rule number one. As we focus on time reference particle today, Let's start by reviewing words related to time. You already know how to say a clock, right? The counter for that is G. So, one o'clock is Ichiji, Niji, Sanji, like that. Okay, how about for minute? The counter for minute is Hun or Pun, and its pronunciation. Change depending on the number that comes before it. So let's count from one minute to ten minutes together. Are you ready? いきますよ一分二分三分四分五分六分七分八分九分10分。できましたか ?And to express AM and PM, we have a word for it. Morning is 午前 And then afternoon is 午後 When you write the time in Japanese, you use AM and PM, just like English. But when you read these time, you say 午前4時35分 You express this AM with the Japanese word 午前 
and put it in front of the time expression. And this one will be Gozen Juji Niju Hapum. How about this one? It is PM, so you say Gogo Kuji Yonju Yonpum or Yonju Yonhun. And in this one it will be Gogo Juniji Ju Hapun. It is ne. Let's also look at other time related vocabulary. Today is Kyo. Tomorrow is Ashita. The days of the week from Monday to Sunday are Getsuyobi, Kayobi, Suyobi, Mokuyobi, Kinyobi, Doyobi, Nichiyobi, with Yobi acts as the counter for the days of the week. Learning the months in Japanese is straightforward. Simply add the counter Gatsu for month to the numerical representation of each month. For example, January is Ichi Gatsu, February Nigatsu, March Sangatsu, and so on. The, uh, these are the words that refer to the part of the day. Asa is the morning, hiru is noon, and yoru is night. Um, shumatsu is the word for weekend. Now these three with mai in the beginning, it means every. Therefore, mainichi translates to every day. Mai ban. Ban is night, so every night. And my shoe, shoe is week, so it's every week. So can you guess the word for every morning? The morning is asa, so every morning will be my asa. Hai, so this. それでは、sentence structure を勉強しましょう。So this is the sentence with time reference particle ni. You have time word and you have a verb. In this case, to wake up, you connect these two words with the particle ni. The rule is you always need to use particle ni with the numerical time expressions. For the specific point in time, you need to use ni. And the days of the week, like Sunday, Monday, you need particle ni. And then you also need to use particle ni to show date, month, and year. それでは、センテンスを作りましょう。How do you say, I will go on Sunday in Japanese? 日曜日に行きます。いいですね。Let's add the destination. Toshokan, please say this sentence. So this, Nichiobi ni Toshokan ni ikimas. So ではこのセンテンスを日本語で言ってください Please say this sentence in Japanese. 8月に帰ります帰ります。to return to where you belong. Next sentence. Let's add the destination Japan. はい、行ってください。8月に日本に帰ります。This ni is the time reference particle ni and this is the destination particle ni. はい、いいですね。Earlier, I mentioned that some time expression words don't require the use of particle ni. So let's take a look at those words. This word, goro, means approximate time. So five o'clock, goji, and about five o'clock is goji goro. 
If you have this word in the time word slot in the sentence structure, then you don't need particle ni. Same as these words like parts of the day, asa, hiru, yoru, and the word weekend, shumatsu. So you can say shumatsu ikimasu instead of saying shumatsu ni ikimasu. However, these words, you may add ni if you wish to emphasize the word. So, I go on the weekend. Shumatsu ikimasu can be shumatsu ni ikimasu if you want to emphasize that weekend. Knowing that rule, let's translate this sentence in Japanese. I will go to Disneyland on the weekend. How would you say that in Japanese? Shumatsu Disneyland ni ikimasu. And if you want to emphasize the weekend. Okay? In the case like I'm going on I'm going to the Disneyland on the weekend, but not weekday. If you want to specify the weekend, then you may add ni here. How about this sentence? I play games at night. So the night is yoru. So please please say this sentence in Japanese. Yoru game wo shimasu and ni is optional. In forming a question sentence, you have an option regarding emphasis. If you wish to emphasize the weekend, you can add the particle ni after the word weekend. Using ni signals a specific emphasis on the weekend. Without it, the question simply inquires about the weekend in a general manner. So, shumatsu nani wo shimasu ka? versus shumatsu ni nani wo shimasu ka? has a subtle difference in these questions. And there is one more rule regarding this time reference particle ni. There are certain words with which you should never use particle ni. So let's remember those words. Words like today and tomorrow don't use ni because their time is relative. It changes based on when now is. So these are the time expressions that are defined in relation to the present time and I called these words as relative time expressions versus absolute time expressions like 7 o'clock or January the 4th. Okay, so don't use particle ni with these relative time expressions. Also, words with regular intervals like every day, every week, and every year. They don't need particle ni either. And question word. The question word when is itsu. This question word stand alone so you can say itsu ikimasu ka instead of itsu ni ikimasu ka. When do you go? Now you know the rule number three. Please say this sentence. I watch TV every night. How would you say that? My ban terebi o mimasu. So this ne. How about these questions? So Ken is asking Michiko, when will you come to Japan? How do you ask that question in Japanese? Itsu nihon ni kimasu ka? So this ne. And Michiko says, I will come tomorrow. What would be her response? Ashita ikimasu. So this. Now, if you're confused with kimasu and ikimasu, 
I explained these two verbs in my episode number 29. So if you want to review these words, please go back and listen to episode 29. To ask someone at what time they do certain things, use the question word what time, which is nanji, and then add the particle ni. So, please ask this question to Michiko in Japanese. Nanji ni nihon ni kimasu ka? Idesne. This ni is a time reference particle and this ni is a destination particle. And Michiko responses, I will come at 3.15 p.m. How would you say this in Japanese? Gogo sanji jugo fun ni ikimasu. I desu ne. Asking questions about when, you can use the question word when without a particle for general inquiries or what time? Nanji ni for specific time. Compare these two sentences. Tanaka san wa itsu nihon ni ikimasu ka is a general question asking Mr. Tanaka when he will go to Japan. While Tanaka san wa nanji ni ikimasu ka asks Mr. Tanaka at what time? What specific time he wakes up? Let's take one last look at our chart to confirm these three rules for using the particle ni with time-related words. Rule number one, always use ni with specific days and times. Rule number two is optional with words like parts of a day. And then rule number three, Never use ni with words like today or question word when. By following these rules, you'll have a solid foundation for understanding when to use the time particle ni. Take a moment to review each rule and you're well on your way to mastering Japanese time expressions. Please ask me this question. How about this one? Please ask me this question. Hi, Mainichi Kohi o How about this one? Hi, Konban Hachiji ni Terebi o Mimas. Time reference particle ni o benkyo shimashita. Minasan wa mainichi nanji ni okimasu ka? Nanji goro asa gohan o tabemasu ka? Nan yobi ni daigaku ni ikimasu ka? Itsu nihon ni ikimasu ka? Oshete kudasai ne. Sore deo mata sayonara.